I think that the vampire of Sacramento has to be one has to be like one of my favorite episodes so far. I know I say that every time, but I like the fact I really love the fact that this is a true story. I'm always a huge fan of movies and or anything based on a true story. I'm just naturally going to be interested in it like right off the bat. And I mean, I've never heard heard this story before, but I have looked into it in a little bit and it is a really freaky scenario. Now, um, if you ever watch Onision's, if you ever watch Greg's videos, um, you know his main channel stuff can be kind of crazy and silly and goofy and whatever. And, um, I watch his Onision Speaks channel a lot. And you can kind of, you quickly you can easily pick up on um, his little mannerisms and stuff. What I liked about Onision's role in this was that the way he played it was The way Onision had played this role was amazing. Um, now, Greg doesn't seem like the brotherly type to me. I don't know. I don't really know. I obviously don't know him that well, or really at all for that matter. But the, the way he interacted with the younger girl who played his sister in this episode. I thought it was really great how he, how the two of them interacted. He really came off as a big brother to this, to this little girl, like, perfectly. You know, you could tell that he really cared for his little sister in the episode. Which, I mean... Greg, Greg seems like a really caring guy, and I think he kind of pulled from his own personal experience of who he is to, and kind of redirected it to the, a brotherly fashion, I guess. I'm not sh I forget what the little girl's name is, but I thought the little girl was adorable. And I think she did a pretty darn good job. Um, I I can't I can't really criticize her at all. You know, I thought it was considering that it was such a short video. I think she really did a good job with getting to the point of. I'm feeling annoyed. I'm scared. I love. Like, I think she really got to the po I think she really got to the point really quickly of the fact that she wanted her big brother to, to watch the show. She was ha having fun watching the show. She was scared. Like, instantly you could tell that, like, what she was feeling and I just think she every point she was on screen, I think she executed every part like perfectly and the actual vampire dude um he was kind of creepy but to me um especially when he came out of the closet it seemed like just overly cheesy when he came out of the closet and he's he comes out and is like look at me I'm a ninja I'm sneaky 
you know, like I'm a ninja, I'm sneaky and stuff. So to me, it, mm, I didn't really like him all that much because it was like, he comes out like all cheesy ninja-like and I just didn't really like that portion because Greg's just kind of like being really cautious walking down the hallway and he just slides out of the closet like a ninja, you know. To me it just came off as really cheesy, you know. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, this is my review of the Sacramento Vampire. I really hope you enjoyed it. And go watch the episode first before you watch this because there will be spoilers. <laughs>